Welcome to the channel, everyone. I just found this little fossil. I'm not really sure what it is. Some kind of a little shell or something. But this one's for you, Jeff. Let's see if we can get this out of here. Give me just a minute. I'll see if I can get it out of there for you. I usually bring a I usually bring a tool, but I left it in the truck in exchange for packing around a ah, water bottle today. I applied copious amounts of bug spray. I'm still getting chewed up. There it is. Oh. It's hard to tell if it's any good on the other side. But there it is. Oh, that breeze feels nice. Make sure there's nothing else here that we need to have a look at. Put that in the bag for Jeff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, buddy, that's a keeper. What's this? Ooh. Don't look bad either. Huh. Look at this one, though, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, pa pow. Pa pow, pa pow. There was something up there that caught my eye, too, but I'm gonna have to have a look at these before I go crawling up there to look. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! I was starting to get just a little discouraged because it had really dried up. Oh, let's see. That one is fossilized coral. And look, that one has an eye on it. I see you. Oop. There's a teeny tiny agate. <laughs> Yay! Some finds for the bag. Thank goodness, because it had got dry. Those are not remarkable, but I'm happy. I'm a happy girl. I love it. Mwah. Oh, she gave me the stank eye. <laughs> I'm going to kiss this rock, please. Want to drink? Okay. There's a cute little agate, but you guys, check out this little sweetie. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. I think that that is a completely agatized shell. I could be wrong. It could just be a little botryoidal agate, but... Ah, uh, it's got an awful shelly shape to me, you guys. Oh, what a pretty little thing. The sun would shine through it better if the sun was shining, but the sun went behind a cloud. So it's kind of amazing that I even found that. Because it's kind of kind of dark right now. Oh, I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. I probably should not put up with as much mosquito biting as I do. I'm going to catch some creepy crud. <sighs> oh, they're terrible. Is it worth it? So yeah, mosquito bitten. Ugh. Oh something fierce there's and and the horse flies are kind of gnarly today too and all for a bag of kind of mediocre rocks that most of the yellow stoners yellow stonies yellow stonettes yellow stoners yellow stone goers yellow stone hounders the yellow stoners they would leave this stuff behind i'm sure they'd call me crazy for wasting my time on such little things but you know what it makes me really happy when I find a cute little agate or a cute little petrified wood or a little fossil. And just because mine aren't as big or as nice as some of them are on the Yellowstone doesn't mean they're not as cool or as loved. So thanks everybody for watching. Join me again for more prairie adventures.
Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, those that hunt the Yellowstone or any other state-owned land, now you need a permit to rock hound there. So be sure to check your laws, all local laws. I know that's just the state of Montana. There's lots of different laws for different places. So be sure to be familiar with what you can and cannot do, what's allowed and what isn't allowed. Um, this is kind of, my, like I say, my grab-and-go spot here. Uh, and some of you may look at some of these other rocks that I'm not picking up and take a good guess about where I'm at and and wonder what in the hell I'm doing here. So um, I actually have permission to hunt here. I have talked to some of the employees who work here and they've given me permission to hunt here. So um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then always just be sure you've got permission to hunt if you're not on state land. And if you're not on state land, as far as I know, you don't need a permit still, but uh, just be sure. Be sure you're following rules in whatever state it is that you're living in. That way you don't get in any trouble. Because no one wants any trouble. We just want a happy, happy rock hounding day. So, yeah, just an, another quick heads up to those of you on the on the Yellowstone or any other state-owned land. Oh, my goodness. It's little, you guys, but that is one super cool piece of petrified wood. Oh, my gosh. I love it. So, yeah, know your rules. Every property, you could do whatever you want. Wow. It's a weird pudding stone. So yeah, if you've got private property and you want to pick up all the petrified wood off your private property and go sell it at the farmer's market, as far as I know, that's a go-ahead. But uh, state property, there are some, some rules as far as um, rock counting is concerned, so be familiar with some of those rules. Um, like the state of Oregon, I think you get, you get a limit in Oregon, and let's just hope that Montana never does that, because... I'd limit out on the first day. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, yeah, I just want to, I want to kind of put that out there for you guys. Be sure you know what you're doing and, you know, ignorance is bliss. You're, you're happily breaking the rules until you're unhappily breaking the rules. So I just, uh, I want us all to stay happy, happy rock counts. So I want to kind of throw that little public announcement out there. Know your rules and have a happy rock hunt. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Holy moly, that's a keeper. Oh, buddy. Oh, that one gets some smooches, guys. Woo, I love that. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And that one's coming home with me. Oh, buddy, that's pretty. You guys ever do this maneuver? Fill your shirt up with rocks? <laughs> Carry it like a seven-year-old? Nothing makes me feel more like a se ouch, a seven-year-old than that move right there. I overfilled my bag. Now I got them in my shirt. <laughs> Why do I do that? Why do I do that to me? got more rocks that I could carry and so now I can't even defend myself against the horse flies and the mosquitoes. I'm back to the truck now so it's been a great day. Beautiful day on the prairie. That wind feels good. Where's that been all day? Anyway I found a lot of stuff that I did not get a chance to show you guys. Um, again I'm just kind of Try, I'm trying to speed through this so that the mosquitoes don't eat me and um, ah. <laughs> and because I just don't, I can't. I got my shirt full of rocks, I got my bag full of rocks, and I just don't uh, have a free hand to do a lot of filming today. So lots of stuff that I found that I didn't get recorded. Um, lots of stuff that we'll look at together maybe in a live, wash it up in a live hang out together um, but yeah what a what a wow day I got some real good ones I got a lot of stuff that the yellow stoners stoner yellow 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 stonies yellow stone goers 
the goers of the Yellowstone. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff that they would probably leave behind or even kind of scuff at me for picking up. But uh, I've got a bag full of rocks, whole bunch of bug bites, and uh, I'm just about as happy as I could be. So thank you for joining me on my adventures out here on the prairie. We'll do it again soon. And yeah, I can't wait to show these. Some of these mystery rocks to you. Some of them, I, I picked them up. I knew that they were kind of good and I just tossed them in the bag. I didn't even take a good look at them. So some of the stuff I found today is just as much a mystery to me as it is to you. And we'll find out together when we get it cleaned up if it was a leverite or my new favorite rock. So anyway, yeah, thanks again, guys. Beautiful day out here on the prairie. Walk through all this skeeter ridden grass again. That's all right, dog's ready to go. Let me turn you around. Have you had enough? <laughs> They're making it up here to pick up. Woo, what a pretty night. What do you think, bees? Was that fun? A good walk? <laughs>
stars are everywhere. Thanks for watching, guys.